What's up? I'm Percy. This is Mercy. Mercy is... She's got a busy morning already. Tomorrow. Can we have the green screen and put some ponies back there? Maybe tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> the green screen, dude. Welcome to the brand new critically acclaimed hit morning show called the... awesome where every day we upload a short little video that's hopefully something interesting motivating inspiring and just a little distracting today is Thursday October 22nd the news of the day Jennifer Garner was just blowing up do you know who Jennifer Garner is yet so this is Jennifer Garner we'll go to Instagram Farmer Jen has a farm. E -I -E -I -O. and she grows food for little kids do you remember the sunflower video hello squash it's not your day today's not your day where she made sunflowers and they were like a complete disaster. Yeah. That's actually the point of today's story. Jennifer Garner was on a PBS interview, Kelly Corrigan. It's like an hour long interview, really neat, intimate interview, going all the way back to like Jennifer Garner's growing up, about her parents, her mom lived in poverty, all sorts of interesting stories there, but then it gets into like her acting and the Dallas Buyers Club, how she was almost gonna have to, re her, her agent got her in a Dallas Buyers Club and it was kind of like this fork in the road, like you better retire or you better take Dallas Buyers Club. There's this great story about Matthew McConaughey in Dallas Buyers Club. It, it's a wonderful interview, gem after gem after gem of really good bits about Jennifer Garner's life. Check it out, link below. Today, coincidentally enough, is Smart is Cool Day. You know what that kind of means? No. <laughs> it means being smart is cool. And sometimes people forget that. And I think you might forget that one day, possibly. I hope not. But I think sometimes people feel pressure not to be smart. It happens. There's someone um, I was with. There was this opportunity to play with a virtual reality headset. It was this awesome thing in this room. Fight creatures. I think it was like with a bow and arrow. So it was like a game, not just a virtual reality yeah. scene. Yeah, you put on this thing and you were immersed in a game. It was amazing. It was the future. It was the first time I ever got to try on something like that. I couldn't believe like what the technology could do. Well, so this person I was with had an opportunity to do it and they didn't do it. And when I asked later, like, why didn't you want to do it? They said they were afraid of what they would look like. They wanted to try it, but they didn't because they were afraid they would look silly in front of the other people that were around. That's going to happen. You're going to feel this pressure that, hey, here's a new thing to try, to learn, to check out, but you don't want to do it because you don't want to look silly doing it. And I think that sucks. Paul Graham actually has an essay, I think he just launched it yesterday or the day before, something very similar about the coolest stuff, the best stuff out there comes from a lot of people who weren't afraid to look silly or foolish trying something new. Exploring new things, you're going to screw up and you're going to look a little silly, right? You know, if you want to do an engineering project, what's the first engineering project going to probably look like? A piece of toast, but it's burnt. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. But Jennifer Gardner, I think, embodies this on her Instagram. Check it out. The interview with Kelly Corrigan. She, she talks about this. She purposely tries not to manage her image, her public image, because this is the type of thing that happens. You start avoiding things because you don't want to look silly. Go check out Jennifer Gardner's Instagram, she looks silly all the time. Like, she tried to make sunflower seeds. It was a disaster. I can identify many problems. We picked them too early. <laughs> she picked them, she roasted them. It turned out to just be good for chicken food. I have so much respect for Jennifer Garner. A good lot. For the chickens. It's good for the chickens. But I think you can learn a lot, actually, from watching Jennifer Garner. Try some stuff. You're gonna look silly but it's real and people appreciate it. They're still gonna learn from it and you're just gonna get better and better at, at this stuff anyway. Smart is cool. Be more like Jennifer Garner. Try a lot of things. It's okay if they screw up. I think a lot of people are like, man, I, I worry that people are gonna think I look silly. And really deep down, those people are jealous that you had the bravery to try that thing. Alexa, what's a nerd? Boring, unstylish, etc. Two. An intelligent but single-minded person obsessed with a non-social hobby or pursuit. I don't like the definitions Alexa has of nerds. You should be proud you're a nerd. You should be proud that you're super interested in something 
scientific, mathematic, analytical that maybe other people aren't. That's really awesome. But we're such nerds. Addison put a bunch of numbers on her bathroom door. Why did you do that? That's my IP address. <laughs> oh, this joke is terrible. Thanks though from Charles underscore Dietz on Reddit for that joke. If you're anyone who posted the jokes, um. Thank you. Sorry, but I never understand. Have an awesome Thursday. We will see you tomorrow. Hey, if you're new here, we're getting a lot of new viewers lately from all sorts of places like Reddit, and, and it's, it's been awesome. Thank you so much for all the comments, and thank you so much for coming here and checking out our videos. If you're new I here, please give us a chance of, of keep uploading these videos and entertaining you. I Hit think the... Mercy just watched the video 200 times. Oh, uh, she might have. She's a really good fan. <laughs> She's a very good supporter. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, hit the like button, tell your friends, and we will see you. Hey, mom!